Hello everyone, my name is Greg and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Forever Promise, The New Heaven and the New Earth. Let's read. John was the disciple of Jesus one Jesus. One day Jesus came to him in a vision, shining like a sun. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. I died. Now I live forever. So John was Jesus' disciple. Sorry, that's my brother. I will tell my brother. So, John was Jesus' disciple, and Jesus came to John, a vision shining like the sun, The Jesus was so bright, I died and live, and now I live forever. Then, John saw the new heaven and the new earth, God's promise, new creation, the first heaven and the first earth were gone, and the sea with them. So, John saw the new heaven and the earth. God promised the new creation. The first heaven and the first earth were gone and the sea wet them. So John has saw the new heaven and the earth. I really want to see how it looks. Question. Who did appear to John? Number one, Jesus. Number two, a mountain. Number three, a palm tree. Number what was the correct answer? Next, John saw God's holy city, the New Jerusalem. It was coming down from heaven. It was beautiful like a bird on her wedding. Bright on her wedding, they ready to meet her husband. So John saw the God's holy city. It was coming down from heaven. It was so beautiful and bright. Why, just ready to meet her husband like a wedding day. Wow. Really, that's looking like a wedding. Place really bright. Actually, it will be more good. The real, not in this picture. The real will be very good. Okay. Then John heard. A loud voice coming from the door of God saying, From now on, God will make his home among his people, and and they will all live together. So, John 
heard a loud voice coming from God. God will prepare our homes in heaven. If only, if only we trust Jesus and God. And they will live all together. In this new heaven and the earth, there won't be any tears because no one would be in pain and no one will die. Those things are gone forever. So in this new heaven and the earth, there's no pain, no, and they will also not die. They will live forever. Well, if we believe God, then we will go to the new heaven. We should like we should. I have to say. Listen to God. And know that Jesus has died our, for our, to forgive our sins and raise. Then, uh, three days that you have to believe it. <laughs> They're all looking happy. The voice from the throne said, I am the beginning and the end. If you are such thirsty, come to me, and I will give you the water of life. So if we are thirsty, we should go to God. We I think that means we should trust God if ever, whenever we are like, in a trouble trouble situation or something like that. Question Will there be pain and dirt in the new heaven and earth? No. There will be no pain, and they will also not die. They will live there forever. My new word is for my children who were faithful to me. I am making all things new. It it's true, you can't count on it. So, only my new word is for my children, those who are faithful to me, make all these things true. You, we should trust God, right? <laughs> The new earth, new world, will be for who would, who believe in Jesus and be is faithful to Him. True, we should only trust God, and then we can go. Like we are not believing 
God because we want to go there. We should believe God because God is the one true God. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I will read another good story. Then we'll see you next time. Bye!